Welcome back to Mafia 2. In the last episode, Vito managed to make a name for himself in prison after Leo Galante took him under his wing and taught him a few tips on how to survive in prison. Today, Vito finally gets out of prison and goes back to meet up with Joe. Galante wasn't lying. He called in a few favors and arranged for me to get out early. Knocked almost four years off my sentence. Now, Joe used to come visit me and, you know, kind of fill me in on what was happening on the outside. But I tell you, as soon as I walked out of that prison gate, it was like a whole new world. Vito! Hey, you break out of jail? Ah, oh, jeez, good to see you in regular clothes and on the right side of the bars again. Welcome home. Come on in, come in, come in. Man, I tell you, lots changed since I went away. Yeah, I guess it has. And hey, it ain't much, but I hooked you up with a nice little apartment, just like you Thanks. said. Now I got a surprise for you. We're going out tonight to celebrate, and I'm going to introduce you to somebody. Yeah, sounds good to me. You're going to need a little cash so you can get things going again. I got a piece for you, too, if you want it. Ah, here. Always comes in handy. So, uh, what do you want to do now that you're a free man? Hey, what do you think? I want to go back to working with you again. All right. I was worried they might have turned you straight nah. in there. <laughs> I actually met a lot of people and learned a lot while I was on the inside. I had a much better idea of how things work now. Good thing. Because I wasn't exactly sitting around on my ass while you was in there. Don't worry, though. I'll show you the ropes, like always. All right. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's go. Jesus, I didn't expect you to be raring to go like this, but what the hell? Come on, let's go see your new place. We'll take my car and go meet your new landlord. You do the driving so as you can get back into the swing of things. Just hope you didn't forget how to drive while you was in the can. Hey, what are you worried about? It's like riding a bicycle. Sure, but when you smack up your bicycle, it don't cost a fortune to fix the friggin' thing. All right, all right, I get it. You're like an old lady. Yeah, I sure as hell hope so. And if you ain't noticed, cars are a lot different since you went away. You'll see. Your new place is just down the street, right near the boardwalk. You're gonna love it. I'd done pretty good while you was locked up, but now that you're out, the sky's the limit. You seen Henry lately? Nah, not for a few years now. He really felt bad about what happened, you know. So what you been up to? We couldn't really talk about much when you visited me. Well, after the shit Clemente and that little asshole Luca tried to pull on us, I got hooked up with the Falcone family and I started working for them. Really? Yeah, you'll see tonight. I told you, I got a nice surprise plan for you. But don't bother asking, because I ain't gonna tell you. Oh, boy. Don't worry. I've been planning this for weeks. That's what I'm afraid of. So Joe has rented Vito an apartment and we're going to skip ahead in the journey and arrive at the apartment to have a look around. All right, this is close enough. Park here. Go check the place out. It's on the top floor. I already paid the first month's rent for you. And hey, the entrance to your garage is on that side street over there. Thanks, Joe. I appreciate it. Hey, and about tonight, we're going to a real classy joint. So buy yourself a nice suit. They won't let you in this place look like an ex-con. My kind of place. Okay, here we are. I'm sure you'll find it to your liking. I live in a similar apartment myself. As you can see, it even comes with a telephone, at no extra charge. 
And here's the bathroom, clean and modern, with all the hot water you could ever want. And here is the master bedroom. And there is the master's bed. It's comfy, with room enough for two. Maybe three. And it doesn't squeak. Always a plus in my book. I sure hope you like your new apartment, sir. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. Just one question. When are you leaving? Now, if you'll pardon me, I have to go and check out another client. Goodbye now. Yeah, see you. Rito's first apartment, it seems, since he arrived back from the army. It's taken a little stint in prison to get to this point, but he has now arrived after Joe organised this apartment. Pretty nice place. I suppose it could do some work. The painting on the side looks a bit drab, but uh, in this time period, it's kind of what you'd expect. Interesting how you put two single beds together to make a double. That's always an interesting look. So, having a look around the apartment, there is a magazine here. We are getting the trophy of picking up our first magazine. I haven't shown the magazine because I, th I think YouTube would have an issue with what it showed. Apologies if you expected that to be shown. So, we need to get dressed up before we go and meet Joe. We haven't actually brought anything clothing-wise bar the jacket when we first started. But there is a few things in here. We've got stuff from Mafia 1. A red jacket with shirt. He said we need to be dressed up properly. Ah, a suit and glasses. I think that will go down well. Sounds good to me. So that is us dressed up, ready to go and meet Joe. So that's where we're going to head now. So let's meet Joe and see what he has planned for this evening. Jeez, I thought you was going to be a no-show. Not bad. Nice material. Thanks. So uh, what's the plan for tonight? You'll find out. A friend of mine's coming to pick this up. I met him when you was on your little vacation. And show him some respect. He's kind of an important guy. Oh, yeah? We'll see you in a minute. Here he comes. Hey, Joe. Hey, Eddie. Here I How's am. it going? Ah, not too bad. Not too bad. Oh, this your buddy? Yeah. This is my pal, Vito. Vito, this here is a good friend of mine, Eddie Scop. Nice to meet you, Eddie. Same here, Vito. Okay, fellas, I'm dying for a drink. Let's go. Hey, Vito, you want to drive? I had a couple of drinks already. So, uh, you tell him where we're headed, Joey? Nope. All he knows is that it's a surprise. <laughs> uh, he's gonna love it. I fucking hope so. Unless he got into the, uh, funny business in the can. Hey, what are you two talking about? <laughs> Don't worry about it. You'll see. Hey, come on. We might as well tell him now. Hey, you waited this long. We'll tell him in the car. All right. Let's go, Vito. Hey, you know, it would help if you told me where we're going. Head to Oyster Bay. Okay, so Vito, what was the one thing you missed the most when you was in the camp? Freedom. Yeah, well, but besides that? Nah, you know, uh, booze, broads, baseball, everything. Now you're getting closer. <laughs> what are you guys, taking me to a baseball game? No, we're taking you to the classiest cat house in the city, Vito. Cat house, huh? Wow. Well, you don't sound too excited, Vito. Come on, don't tell me you don't want to have some fun after all that time. Hey, don't worry, Vito. These girls are real professionals. If you forgot how to do it, they'll get you back in shape in no time. <laughs> <laughs> if we're gonna have a ball... <laughs> oh, hey, uh, remind me not to drink too much. There's something I gotta take care of later. What's more important than pussy and booze? Ah, uh, you know how it is. Sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. Hey, Vito, come on, step on it, eh? Eddie Scarpa has asked Vito to step on it, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to skip ahead to arriving at where we're going. Yeah, we heard Alberto and that asshole Luca were taking guys into their family for a fee, but we had no idea they were charging that much. Uh, they're going to have to answer for their sins soon. 
So I talked to Leo Galanti about you, Vito. He said you were a real stand-up guy, and he told me all about the shit that Clementi tried to pull on you guys. But between you and me, why'd you get into that line of work? I mean, we all got our re reasons. Well, uh... Yeah, yeah. Uh, because, uh, mm -hmm. you know, I don't, I don't want to end up like my old man, and, uh... Oh, no. Yeah. Look, I figure nobody's gonna help me, so I gotta help myself. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you do. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, scram, baby. So, Vito, listen. I work for Carlo Falcone, and, uh, we're looking to expand our operation. Joe's been working for us for a while now, and, uh, since you're a friend of his... We'd like to extend that offer to you as well. What do you say? Yeah, sure, I'm interested. All right, let's drink to it. Here's to you guys. All right. And to a bright future together. Touching down. I can't be drinking too much tonight. Uh, I got some business to take care of. <laughs> Talk about a horse's ass! <laughs> no, no, really. Uh, Carlo's a real smart guy. <laughs> He's into, uh, uh, you know, uh, astrology. You mean astronomy. Uh, fuck you, you fucking cum dumpster. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, ladies. Looks like I gotta get going. You shut your goddamn pie hole. If you wanna oh. use your mouth, you fellas ready to go? Vito! Yeah, let's go. Hey, get up, Joe! I'm going home. Good night, you whores. Hey, where the hell is my car? Uh, somebody stole it. Hey, hey, call the fucking cops, man. You're staring at it, you lush. Huh? Oh, oh yeah, good. <laughs> hey, where's my keys? Vito's gonna drive. He's the least fucked up out of all us. Yeah! Next time for us, Joe. More pussy, less booze. <laughs> So, how'd you like the place, Vito? A lot better than playing I had this uh, Zeech in the showers, huh? <laughs> <sighs> what the hell's that stink? Eddie, you puke? What? I wouldn't puke in my own car. What the... What the hell is that smell then? Oh, yeah, I'm smelling it too. Must be Frankie Potts. What? That asshole puked in your car? Ah, oh, no, he's in a trunk. What? What? Hey, it's all your fault, Joey. I told you I had some fucking business to take care of, and you went and got me drunk. Hey, since when does business to take care of mean dead guy in the trunk? Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, calm down, Vito. Hey, I spent it. We'll figure something out. What's to figure? All we gotta do is bury the stiff. I already got a spot picked out. Up by the old observatory. <sighs> you got a shovel? Sure, it's in the trunk. And the hole is already dug. All we need to do is chuck him in and cover him up. All right, all right. Where's this hole? Yeah, a little ways outside of town, there's a path in the forest to a small clearing. That's where the hole is. Hurry it up, will ya? God, I need some fresh air. The stench back here is fucking killing me. Oh, 
stop. Now, I'm gonna hurl. Jesus, where's this shit coming from? Oh, shit. Whoa, I don't remember eating calamari. <laughs> Can't hold your booze, can you? So according to Eddie, there is a body in the trunk. So we're going to skip ahead to arriving at a remote location to deal with this. All right, we're here. <clears throat> Vito, go pop the trunk. Is that a joke? That's great. That's just great. Yeah. <clears throat> Almighty! How long this guy been in here, Eddy? Uh, just a couple days. You're gonna have to get him out of there, Vito. That's oh, just great. I can't handle the smell. Some fucking welcome home this is. <laughs> oh. 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 <laughs> ah. <laughs> hey, mother. Hey, hey, here's a hole. Right here. Dump him in. Finally, done. <sighs> okay. Now who's gonna bury him? What? I, I give me a minute to get a hold of myself. Can you just do it? Every time I get a whiff of the guy, it makes me have to puke. And Eddie's not gonna be any help ah, here. Fine, either. whatever. Hey, fellas. How about a little music, eh? You gotta be kidding me. Good night, sweetheart. Well, it's time to This wasn't supposed to be part of your homecoming party, but it's nice out here, ain't it? I ain't been in the woods for a while. Yeah, you won't be liking it so damn much after I smack you with this shovel. And that is the body dealt with. Definitely something you wouldn't expect from a normal night out. But then again, I suppose these guys aren't normal people to be hanging around with. So with that dealt with, we're going to drive everyone back to Joe's now. I love the way it says, just take the drunks back to Joe's. So we're going to skip ahead to arriving back at Joe's. Sorry, Vito. Not exactly the best way to end the night, huh? But thanks. I owe you one big time. Leave Eddie's car here so he can get home in the morning. You're a good man, Vito. I'll settle up with you tomorrow. Hey, you coming in for some drinks? It's three in the morning. Shut the hell up. Hey, shut up, you whore. Come on. Look you got enough, Eddie. Girls. You're going to bed. <laughs> get <dinner>. Come on. <laughs> I'll call you tomorrow, Vito. Good night. And that is In Loving Memory Complete. Vito managed to get out of prison in this episode, thanks to Colante. But it looks like Eddie Scarpa is going to lead him down a bad path by the looks of things alongside Joe. After finding that dead body in the trunk. Not what you really expect for a night out, is it? But there we go. But that is it for today. Thank you for watching. We'll be back very soon with more Mafia 2.